Hey guys, it's Jay19 brought to you in our video and today we're going to just talk about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and a lot of people are calling me nuts, right? Everybody thinks I'm crazy. Everybody thinks that I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. Um, there's a lot of people who are just like, they're really skeptical on my, what I think is going to happen. Uh, either at the PlayStation Showcase event, whether it's at the, you know, whether it's at the Summer Games Fest or something like that. Everybody thinks I'm kind of loony because no, 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 you're wrong, dude. Final Fantasy 16 takes top priority. Everybody's got to like, everybody's got to get that marketing done. You know, Square Enix cannot, uh, they cannot uh, market multiple games. It's impossible. They want to do it. And guess what? I'm sticking to my gun. And I don't care what you guys think. I know you guys got heavy opinions, but if you guys think I'm nuts, if you guys think I'm crazy, that's all fine and dandy. But I'm going to stick with my guns. So today's episode, we're going to talk about why I think Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth trailer is coming soon why do you think we're gonna see this game sooner than people think because let's look at the first basic thing let's look at other companies right we'll see how they market things right um let's look at we'll start at the top let's look at sony let's look at sony playstation they're they're one of the best companies out there right for gaming everybody knows that they love they love to market multiple games they do that in state of plays they do that at showcases, they do that on their PlayStation blogs, they do that everywhere, right? Nobody questions, why are you, like, in 2021, why are you showing off Spider-Man 2, Wolverine, and God of War Ragnarok? Why? That doesn't make any sense. Because they got stuff in the pipes, they want to tell people what's going on, they want to give people updates, they want to review things, right? Everybody thinks that Cap uh, Square Enix cannot do that. Let's look at another, let's look at another company, let's look at... Let's look at Konami, right? Let's look at Konami. What, what did they do? Uh, what did they do last year, right? They had the Silent Hill uh, showcase, right? What did they show off? Did they just talk about Silent Hill 2 remake for the whole thing and say that's all we can market? We can't market anything else because they won't be right. No, they showcased multiple project announcements, right? Let's look at Capcom. Capcom's the other thing. Let's look at them real quick, right? What have they been marketing lately? Uh, Street Fighter 6. They got Monster Hunter Rise with Sunbreak just recently launched. They was marketing those two real heavily. Resident Evil 4 Remake was being uh, marketed heavily. Um, got other games of their nature that they've been marketing like crazy, right? So what's stopping Square Enix from doing the same as that thing? They got multiple projects in the works. It's by different divisions inside their own company like Capcom, Konami, Nintendo and Sony, right? What well, still bear with me? I know you guys are saying, dude, dude, it's not gonna happen. Dude, stop. Square Enix would never do this. Okay. I'll give you another evidence. What happened last year, right? I just said we are not gonna see anything of Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth until Final Fantasy 16 and Forspoken have launched. We will not see anything on Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth until Final Fantasy 16 is launched and it's Forspoken because they got to get those two games out first before they start reviewing and talk about Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. Eh, wrong. What we happened? June 2nd, right? We had the Final Fantasy 16 Dominance trailer. And everybody lost their freaking minds, right? Everybody's going nuts. What happened What happened earlier that year, right? Katase talked about, hey, we got, you know, we, well, it's all about, we got some announcements we want to do. We're going to sell, you know, we've got something planned for the 25th anniversary of Final Fantasy VII, right? So everybody say, okay, so what are you going to do? We can't talk about Rebirth because 16 takes priority. But Spoken takes priority. So what do they do? What happened on June 16th? Do you guys remember? Do you guys remember what happened on June 16th that everybody blew their freaking nuggets? Their, their gourds? What happened at the very end, after the Ever Crisis trailer, after the Crisis Core uh, reunion trailer, what the hell did we just got? About 11 months from now, what, oh, 11 months ago, a little over 11 months ago, what, what the hell did we just get? We got Final Fantasy VII Rebirth teaser trailer with a release window of next winter. Just putting it out there, folks guys don't believe me go check it out type in on youtube go to google type in final fantasy 7 25th anniversary stream 
type in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and look at the trailer. I know you guys have seen it up a thousand times, and I keep getting skepticism on Twitter. I just say, okay, I guess maybe you are right, because I don't want to argue with people, but I'm standing my ground. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is and will be talked about this summer, either at the PlayStation Showcase or the Summer Games Fest. And mark my words, it's not going to be a little teaser to say, oh, we got more information coming down the, down the road this fall. Because if the game's coming out this winter, what does majority of the games do for marketing? They start marketing about six to eight months before launch, right? They got to get pre-orders out. They got to get they got to get the marketing started, right? They got to get people excited. They're not going to shadow drop Final Fantasy VII Rebirth without showing nothing. That doesn't make any slick of sense. It is one of Square Enix's biggest, most prized projects. The Final Fantasy VII Remake Trilogy. We'll just call that. The seven, Final Fantasy VII R Trilogy. It's real. It's alive. And Katasi said, we got seven campaigns. We haven't seen anything yet. Other than him saying anything at the very end of last year. He said, seven campaigns. What better way to show off that game to a, a, a larger audience? People are going to be tuning in at the Summer Games Fest. Everybody. Millions. Are going to tune in at the PlayStation Showcase if it's going to happen between May 21st to June 8th. It's coming. A lot of insiders are saying it's coming. They're, they're, all their sources are pointing that it's, it could, it's going to be true. And they said this is going to be one of the ones that's going to blow your balls off. I'm sorry for the language. It's going to blow your balls off. Get ready, folks. PlayStation Showcase can be a blast. It's going to be amazing. And I will stick to my ground. Stick to my... Uh, stick stay on my ground. Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth is going to get a full-blown trailer and I will not be shocked if we get a release date for it at the PlayStation show Showcase or at the Summer Games Fest. They're not going to wait until Tokyo Game Show. They're not going to wait until Gamescom. They're not going to wait that late because by then you're talking about let's say the game comes out in like yeah, maybe four to six months. Is that is that really is that really a good thing to do? Like, just to rush marketing? Because then people say, whoa, 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 this is a little bit too much. To get people talking about Rebirth again. It's not by, you know, I, I love the artwork by you guys. I love I love your conversation you guys have on Twitter. Maybe on subreddit. I'm not there yet. I'm not there. But, how does Square Enix get people to talk about the game? Because let's face it, Final Fantasy 16 has already been marketed. It's got the state of play. It's got the packed ETH. It's going to get a launch trailer. It's got a pre-celebrate launch celebration. But it doesn't make sense to me that they would hold off a marketing for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which is one of the biggest projects known to Square, other than Final Fantasy XVI and Kingdom Hearts IV. If that game is truly coming out this winter, and, the, and according to Katase, the latest interview we had on him, he said the game is going smoothly. They haven't had any setbacks. They haven't had any uh, delays. If that's the case, and Sony is funding this thing, Sony would want a, a winter, like, like a holiday title to go along with Spider-Man 2, right? Spider-Man 2 is for the fall. They need something for winter and early next year, right? How do you do that? Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is a PS5 exclusive title. I'm sorry to tell you guys that. You guys are stuck on PS4. If you guys want to play Rebirth, Start saving up for a PS5. You got a few months. If you can't, that's understandable. But, I'm sticking to my ground, sticking to my feet. I don't want to make this too long. I just want to discuss why I think that Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is still on schedule for this year, for this winter, and why do I think that we are getting a trailer within the next 30 days? Less. Maybe less than 30 days. I'm talking about within the next almost three weeks to four weeks from now. Like a month, yeah, almost 30 days or a little less. It's happening, it's gonna happen. Square's gotta start talking about other games other than Final Fantasy 16. It's already got the marketing. People, people are already either bought in or they're not. If you're not bought in by now, play the Final Fantasy 16 demo, which is gonna drop two weeks before launch, and go from there. You know, go from there if you're interested. It's one of my most anticipated games of this year until I get a release date. For Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and I know for sure it's not going to get delayed. If it's if it's going to be out late this December, 
then it will be my most anticipated game of this year. Because I am so, so, so excited for it. It's like my most anticipated game outside of Final Fantasy XVI. So, I'm going to leave it here. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this, all this. Do you guys agree with me? Do you guys think I'm still full of it? I would love to have a conversation with you guys in the comment section below. With that said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, wonderful night. Keep on keeping on. And subscribe. Hit the bell notification so they know if I don't go live or upload my next video. If you guys like this video, feel free to like, share with a friend. And if you guys want more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth news, content, reactions, you guys know what to do. I will be back with another video later on this week. I hope you guys are looking forward to it. Well, that's it. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.